Uh, in this lecture, I will show you what happens when halo adings are allowed to react with sodium amide in presence of the solvent liquid ammonia. Now, what are halo adings? It is a halogen connected to sp2 carbon of aromatic ring. So, this compound will represent a halo adding. Now, this X is halogen. It is, it may be fluorine, chlorine, bromine and iodine. Now, with reference to the reaction of haloadenes that is fluorobenzene, chlorobenzene, bromobenzene and iodobenzene with sodium amide in liquid ammonia, we will have to categorize it into two broad division. So, the haloadenes will fall into two class. Mind it, it is with respect to this reaction only. So, this fluorobenzene will fall in one part and the other three halogens which are large in size and less electronegative compared to fluorine will fall into the second category. So, this chloro, bromo and iodobenzene will give a similar kind of product, but that product will not be given by this fluorobenzene. So, it forms a different class. So, let us start with this fluorobenzene. Now, without taking the resonance hybrid, we will start with the one of the resonance structure. So, here we have one hydrogen and here hydrogen. Also, there are hydrogens in the meta, meta prime and the para positions. Now, this sodamide will dissociate in liquid ammonia in the following manner. So, this is a strong base. So, soda, sodium amide in liquid ammonia will behave as a strong base. Now, we have to see what strong base will do here. So, there will be a proton extraction from the ortho position. Now, due to this strong electronegativity of this fluorine atom and also the fluorine is a very poor living group, it will not go through the benzene intermediate, but the rest three haloarenes will go through benzene intermediate. I am coming to that portion later, just after few minutes. So, what will happen here? The bond pair will, will stay in this carbon owing to the strong electron withdrawing effect of this fluorine atom. And it is a very poor living group, so it will not leave the species and so there will be no benzene intermediate formation and we have this compound. Now this carbon ion is unstable obviously, so it will react with the solvent. And it will extract the proton from here. 
so that we will get flow range. Now, one NH two minus participates in the reaction, and it gives NH three, and one NH three participates in the reaction, and it gives NH two minus back. So, what is the overall reaction here? We start with fluorobenzene. We get the fluorobenzene back. We start with this amide NH two minus. We get it back. So, actually, no reaction occurs when we apply this reagent on fluorobenzene but the story becomes little different when we substitute one of the hydrogens by deuterium now if we replace this hydrogen by deuterium what will happen this nh2 minus will extract this deuterium and this will be the by product now you see h refers to 1h1 and d refers to 1h2 that is it has one extra neutron sorry not one extra neutron since it has no neutron at all it has one neutron at the nucleus and it is devoid of any neutron so all the chemical behaviors are similar to that of hydrogen but it is a little bit heavier than not little bit it is double in mass compared to hydrogen so this deuterium will be extracted and we will get here minus now this minus will extract proton from the solvent and will give you fluorobenzene so if you start with two deuter of fluorobenzene if you start with i repeat if you start with two deuter of two deuter of fluorobenzene then you will get the product fluorobenzene now we have to look into the kinetic aspects of this reaction there is also another possibility that the strong base will extract this proton so it will give us what it is the by product solvent is coming back here it is minus here we have d now this carbon ion will extract a proton from the solvent and what will happen you will get this product now what is the difference between this one and this one this is actually the reactant so if the strong base applied in this reaction extract this ortho hydrogen then the same the product obtained is is the reactant now we can say therefore that when we allow when we allow two deuter of fluorobenzene to react with sodium amide in liquid ammonia it will give us product only fluorine now about the kinetic aspects you see between the ch bond and cd bond which one is more prone to dissociate that is extraction of which proton is easier this one or the heavier one that is my question so for this you have to look into the reduced mass of these two bonds now this is heavier so it will be associated with a greater reduced mass now from the theory of harmonic oscillator we know that 
frequency is given by if we consider the bonds to be simple harmonic oscillator which is actually not so these are all anharmonic oscillators but to a good approximation we are considering the bonds to be simple harmonic oscillator and the frequency of such oscillator is mu equals to 1 by 2 pi root over k by mu so it is inversely proportional the frequency is inversely proportional to the and it is square root inversely proportional to the square root of the reduced mass so what will be the frequency frequency will be greater than that of the cd bond now another thing if this is the energy axis we will get the potential like this for the anharmonic oscillator and these are the energy levels so when we excite the molecules this will cross this barrier so that is the course of the reaction now if we consider this to be harmonic obviously it is harmonic at the ground state since here the anharmonicity is negligible so this state is called the ground state where we have v equal to 0 that is the vibrational quantum number equals to 0 now the formula of the energy of harmonic oscillator is given by V plus half H nu if V equals to V plus half H nu now the energy is quantized it is a microscopic particle so it will exhibit quantum behavior and the energy is quantized where V is the quantum number now V the values which V can take are 0 1 2 and so on so for the ground state what will happen it will be e0 so it will be half h nu we put here 0 so 0 plus half equals to half h nu so what is the energy of the ground state since the frequency is greater the ground state energy of the ch bond will be greater than the cd bond now for a reaction if we draw the barrier crossing phenomena to be like this then we will have the barrier here here is the transition state now which one has a greater ground state energy that is the zero point energy it has the greater zero point energy so it will correspond to the ch bond and it has a lower ground state energy so it will correspond to cd bond so you see for which one you have the greater activation energy you see for the ch the activation energy is small and for the cd the activation energy is greater now we have already noticed that in chemical kinetics we have noticed that with increase in the activation energy with increase in the activation energy what will happen the rate of the reaction will slow down as per the arrhenius equation the arrhenius equation is given by k equals to a into e to the power minus ea upon rt so more the ea that is for cd here that is negative so more the ea less will be the value of the rate constant so rate will fall now we were talking about the extraction probability for this hydrogen and deuterium by this base so it is starting from a higher energy so it will give a greater rate so the rate of extraction of this hydrogen is always greater than that of deuterium but the extraction of hydrogen is giving is leading to the reactant itself it is not giving product so we will get fluorobenzene this one out of this two deuter of fluorobenzene with a very in a very small rate so we have understand that that whenever such problem will arise the kinetic kinetic favored extraction will be for the 
lighter one. So we have deal with the dealt with the fluorobenzene. That is one class of haloidins. Now for the rest part, that is when X is chlorine, bromine, and iodine. They belong to a different class with respect to this reaction. Let us see what will happen. So I must write here rate or K since this is the activation energy. So activation energy will be greater for the CD1 since the ground state is lower activation energy will be greater. So for the rate, rate constant this will be greater than the CD bond. Now this will remain true whatever may be the class. The probability of extracting the lighter atoms is greater. So I remove this part. Now we will concentrate only when x equals to Cl Br and I and obviously X not equals to fluorine. We have done the we have solved the problem with fluorine. Now it is the turn of chlorine, bromine, and iodine. For such when I am writing here X then it represents only chlorine, bromine or iodine. Now what this NH2 minus will do? One may expect a nucleophilic substitution here, but this is a cyclic planar and conjugated ring. So there will be a electron belt here moving in the upper plane, upper face and one in the lower phase. So it will strongly repel, though it is not negatively charged, yet it will strongly repel a nucleophile. So electrophilic aromatic substitution is quite a natural phenomena and is seen very widely to happen, but nucleophilic substitution does not occur like this that is NH2 minus will attack, attack here and it will go out, it will leave the system as it happens in case of haloalkanes. But with haloarenes, this will not going to work. So what will happen here? This NH2 minus is a strong base and it will extract the ortho hydrogen. And the antibonding of this pi orbital is here. So it will transfer the bond pair to this antibonding. So what will happen? It will open. It will open and it will create a pi bond here. Again, it will form a pi bond here. And this one will internally attack this. Cx, this carbon center. Now this carbon has the antibonding trapped to the, within this ring. We have a we have two electron belts, one above the plane and one below the plane, and the antibonding is trapped within the ring. Now this will this pi bond will get access to this antibonding, so it will be able to break the Cx bond now. So what will happen? Let us carefully proceed. This pi bond comes here. This pi bond comes here. This pi bond comes here. And this sigma bond forms a pi bond. So we will have a sp hybridized carbon here and here. So it should be linear as per the hybridization. 
but it cannot be linear since it is a cyclic compound and the and the ring size is not that much which will provide the facility to this sp hybridized carbon atoms to get a linear structure so this is very unstable intermediate and it is termed as benzene i have told you just now that for fluorobenzene it will not proceed through benzene intermediate but for the rest of the halogens chlorine bromine and iodine we will have we will find the reaction to proceed through the benzene intermediate now there is enough nh2 minus within the system now it is no more a base it will it will act as a nucleophile here so it will open up here and it will relieve the strain here it is an h2 and here we have a minus now solvent is ready so proton extraction from the solvent will occur so we give we will get aniline so starting from chlorobenzene bromobenzene and iodobenzene if we apply sodium amide in liquid ammonia we will get at the end anil so this is the nucleophilic substitution but that does not occur equivalent in an equivalent way that it occurs in case of halo alkenes now to have the have a picture about the kinetic aspects let us start with a deuter substituted product not product a deuter substituted reactant so let us see what will happen now we have started with chlorobenzene or bromobenzene or iodobenzene now at this point we will start with two deuter of halo anions where x is definitely chlorine bromine and iodine and not f i have considered the fluorine case of fluorine just a few minutes ago now when we apply here nh2 minus what will happen it is going to extract this and this will come here this will come here this will come here this will come here and this will be this will leave the system since these are good living groups in the previous case also and in this case also this will leave the system so what we will get we will get here pi bond here we get pi bond and here we get the benzene intermediate now nh2 minus will again attack here it will open up here so we will get aniline and at the ortho position we have a carbanion which will extract proton from the solvent to give you aniline as the product so if you start with two deuter of halo adenes where the halogen is chlorine bromine and iodine we will get aniline as the product now just remember the kinetic aspect you have a hydrogen atom at the ortho position of this compound i am changing the orientation since this is rotating and forming the orbit forming a belt like structure the aromatic ring is associated with both the resonance structure so 
for this approach the other resonance structure will be necessary and we can start with this structure in case of this reaction no problem since both are accessible now here we have a hydrogen atom see for two deuterium haloarenes we will have a hydrogen atom at the ortho prime position now we have seen just now that we have noticed just now that the rate of extraction of this ch of this hydrogen is greater than that of cd so it will occur simultaneously so we will have a parallel reaction and the rate is however greater than this one so it will give a greater amount of product compared to this one so this is the minor product but this one it will give the major product now what will happen this nh2 minus will extract this hydrogen it will come to this antibonding it will come here it will come here it will go to this antibonding of this ch bond and it will leave the system as a living group and these are very good living groups so no problem it is not fluoring so what we will get we will get here this pi bond comes here this pi bond comes here and here a pi bond and another pi bond but we will have a deuterium here so this is a 1 2 3 benzene intermediate it is also unstable now see it is an asymmetric benzene so here nh2 will attack NH2 minus will carry out nucleophilic attack, but there are two different sites for this attack. Sorry, there. Here I will have to write the product. So I am taking it through this site. So let this is the A path and this is the B path. Now when it attacks, this NH2 minus attacks here, we will have a carbon ion here. So for the A path we will get for the A path we will get this product. Now when this N is two minus attacks here we will have a carbon ion here and it will extract proton from the solvent liquid ammonia. And it will be protonated. So we will get this product through the A path. But when it attacks at the point through the B path, it will, it will attack here. So we will have a minus here. So here we have deuterium. NH2 minus attacks here. And we will have a carbon ion here. Now this carbon ion will extract proton from the solvent. And it will be protonated like this. So we have three products when we start with this two deutero haloadenes one is simply aniline which is however the minor product for example i can take this to be 40 percent and this one two deutero aniline and one two three three deutero aniline these are the major product but you see here we will have hydrogen and here we have deuterium. Now quality, steric quality of this deuterium and hydrogen are exactly equivalent. It, it, has a, it has a neutron within it, within the nucleus. So there is nothing to do with the steric crowding. So both the A and B path will be equal a priori. That is both these paths will be followed by with equal probability 50% for this path and 50% for this path. So the remaining 60% will be distributed like this 30% and 30%. Don't memorize this 30% 40%. I am just giving you the example that this one be the minor product that is say it is 40% so this will be 60% since the rate of extraction of this hydrogen is greater than that of the deuterium extraction. Now since 
we get two products here that is a simultaneous reaction so this 60 percent will be distributed like 30 percent and 30 percent here so this is the scheme of the reactions of haloadenes with sodium amide in liquid ammonia